these uh, treatments to get rid of the frozen shoulder uh, are very effective only if the patient exercises the shoulder after the pain is all gone. At least uh, morning to evening, uh, at, at least 20, 10 to 20 times, big rotation of the arm, not like this. A uh, 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 big rotation of the arm and do it about 10 to 20 times, then rest and uh, rest for about half an hour and start all over again. At least five, six times a day, at least for two weeks. Otherwise, it will freeze right back up. This patient suffers from, some, from partially frozen shoulder, and uh, the reason this iodine is here is I asked, I started putting pressure on the, uh, in this area, and tell me if it, if it hurts. Does it hurt here or here? There. Right there. Yeah. This is the area that I found that uh, was very painful to touch, and also you can see, besides the iodine, you can see a reddish discoloration right here. Shoot pain all up on the whole half of my head. Yes, and the, the, the patient also has brachial plexus as well as trigeminal trige nerve involvement causing regional pain. That's why they call it complex regional pain syndrome, which in, in this case is uh, originating from here, spreading upward and also to the right shoulder and down. The nerve that's here is called suprascapular nerve. It's a relay station nerve uh, receiving uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, pain impulses from the uh, upper extremity, from the back of the neck, uh, and all the way to the trigeminal nerve on the, right, uh, uh, on the face. So when we give you in, a shot here, that helps with all of those conditions. Now I also want you to re notice how limited she is, if you can show, record this one. See, yeah. that's all she can do. She, she's, the pain starts. Uh, when the pain starts, and you notice she's just leaning this way because all the muscles around the shoulder are in spasm and she's having severe pain. Now, when I put the pressure here on zero to 10, what pain do you have here? Um, it starts out like a two and then it goes up. And just no, I've been I'm pressure, pre putting pressure on it. What kind of pain do you have in this area? Uh, probably about a seven. Seven, okay. Okay, now I'm going to give you the treatment here. This, this is Marcaine and Um This is one of the nerves that is so successful in uh, counteracting frozen shoulder. Give me one more. Um, now tell me again where it's hurting now. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a 10. No, it's 10. Okay. Yeah, that one was a 10. Uh -huh. So, muscle is very tight under the, under the needle. Um, okay, now, is, tell me as soon as it hurts. It was right in that area where you were. Is it lower part or upper part? Lower. Burn? Upper uh, part? It's, uh, it's, there's something in both of them, lower and upper. Okay, that means because the impulse comes from the neck and from the arm. All right. one of them and that's the other one okay we got all covered there now what's the pain rate rating of the pain in this area i don't feel it in that area anymore so it's zero right yeah okay now we have achieved this part of it now we go to the shoulder i'm going to get to the elbow first but i'm trying to re release the shoulder okay. not to be so okay. uh, frozen Okay. Now, tell me as soon as I hurt you. None of that hurts, right? No. Good. It helps, gets help from that suprascapular nerve. How about here? Yeah, there was one. Yeah. And if you notice, you see again this reddish discoloration. These others that 
areas that were not hurting didn't have this kind of focal reddish discoloration. Then tell me if I am right on top of it or... You're right on top of it. Right there? Yeah. Because it feels okay. like that's, that's the deltoid. And we give you a treatment there. feels like there's sand inside. Mm. This has been chronic, so when I when I stick the needle there, I could feel like like a little sh crystals or shard of glass right under my needle, mm -hmm. and just cr kind of a little crunchy sound, and the needle resistance uh, shows that. Um, this is because when the pain starts, referred pain from around the shoulder or elbow starts. As it becomes chronic, the patient, because of pain, cannot move and exercise the shoulder. So as a result, uh, neuroinflammation starts. Inactivity causes inflammation, causes inflammation in RST, CRPS. So eventually there is enough inflammation and uh, calcium crystals that it feels like shards of, shard of glass if the patient tries to move. Have you experienced that? Mm -hmm. Okay. It just feels like sand inside of Sa it. Okay. And I try to keep it broke loose. And that's because of oxidation, and especially nitric oxide and substance P, all of them cause damage to the muscles and nerves and cause this irritation. Now, I just gave a shot. Now, one shot is not going to be enough. The, the, is it better now? Yeah. The, yeah, I don't feel that uh, sandpaper feeling. Okay, how about here? Yeah, there's one right there. Right. It's, the reason I asked that here because when I feel it, it feels it does, like a it does, it like does. a rock, like a little pebble under the skin. Mm -hmm. So all these the injections that I give, uh, we have only two milligram depomedrol in it. So even if we give uh, ten shots. That's 20 milligram. Now, usually when rheumatologists give uh, cortisone to the patient by mouth, they give 20 milligram three times a day. That's, six, that's 60 milligram a day. We don't do this if every day. We do it once, a, I don't know, if the patient needs a, 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 just when she's here. So uh, compare two milligram versus 60 milligram three times a day, month after month, week after week. This does not cause cortical side effects, but taking a, a lot of uh, prednisone by mouth with large amounts, or if you take it uh, with large, in large amounts, causes, uh, causes side effects. So everybody scares the patients of side effect of cortisone. The amount is so minuscule that you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now move your shoulder a bit for me. Now let's yeah. see. Let's see if it, yeah. Where does it hurt when I do that? Uh, the only place it's hurting now is this right there. Down exactly. Into the elbow. That's right. This is, um, give me uh, some more iodine. It's running all raise, the raise your arm up for me, please. Like this, like this. Like how? Like that? I'll leave it there. Okay. Uh, yep. Wait a minute, you can, Elaine, go f hold her arm for me. Was my fingers in the way? No, she will hold it. Drop your arm on her hand. Okay. And then, then, then you don't need to put your finger. Oh, oh, okay. I'll find it. This is, th this is the area of long and short tendon of triceps. That's one of the worst areas causing frozen shoulder. Now, does that hurt? Mm -hmm. How about here? Yeah, there's one spot there. That's right. Okay, this is, see it's way up back here, uh, triceps muscle and its tendon. Um, mm. Again, the same crystals that I was talking about. Okay. Does that feel any better? Um, yeah, my fingers are, I feel the numbness from there, all the way down into my two fingers, uh -huh. three. Okay. All right. Now, tell me as soon as it hurts again. I was a short tendon, I'm looking for the long tendon. 
Tell me when I hurt you. There's a little bit right back. Yeah, For, there's a little bit right. It's towards you or towards me? Uh, I mean, away from you. Going like this, I guess. Let me hit it again on that. It's. This is the area that I've already made it numb. Yeah. Does yeah. does that hurt? A little bit, yeah. But there's enough. Oh, there's what what was that? Is firing. Pardon? Something back here is firing. Okay, that's that's because of because of this position of the arm that you have. Just a minute. Yeah, I'm having an accident. Okay. All right. Okay, it comes. Okay, that's good. You were very good. Now, let me move the shoulder to see what happens. See, you couldn't do it below, above the shoulder. Now you do it above the shoulder. Yeah. But you're, you're not done. Because the, the multiple tendons are surrounding the shoulder joint. Much, is it better? No, it's much better. Yeah, yeah okay. I feel it now. Now I'll come to the front side. The super scapular deltoid, triceps tendons. Now we go to the front. Now, t tell me as soon as I hurt you. Now we are at biceps tendon. Does that hurt at all? There. Right there. Yep. Okay, hold this. Uh, I've got the eye down. Just like that. Hold it, hold it. Okay. All right. You're doing great. Now, tell me as soon as it hurts again, or is it feeling better? It's all better. Oh, there was one down from where you just, right, right along that muscle, higher up toward the arm. Yeah, there's a little spot there, but. Now, tell me as soon as I hurt you. Any hurting. Okay. Right there. Right there? Mm-hmm. Feels like you've got a stick pin stuck in. Yeah, it feels like what? Talk stick a lot. Pin, feels like a stick pin is stuck in right there. Yeah, because of all this uh, inflammation causing crystal, calcium crystal, crystal formation. And the best thing that dissolves that calcium crystal formation is depomedro. Or celestum, whichever one you want to call it. No. No, I want you to move your arm. Yeah. yeah, it don't bother. It's not bothering me at all now. Doesn't bother you. So no. I want you to go up, 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 up. All, all the way around. Oh yeah. yeah. Go all the way around now. Now the where I couldn't reach was behind me. Normally okay, I can I'll reach. Okay, I reach. That. that is that is a refer pain to the trapezius. I'll get it in one minute. Yeah, I but. can do. I can probably do it now because those were the ones that, where it would hurt. No. Is it hurt, hurting at all when I do that? No. Now, this is the difference. You spend a little more time and do these multiple blo blocks. That saves the patient from having rotator cuff t tear uh, operation. When they talk rotator cuff, the rotator cuff is just like a, a kind of a, a, a protector uh, ligaments. Uh, 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 on the, over, over the sh shoulder joint. When the patient doesn't move it, the, the, these ligaments are parallel to each other, and uh, then inside the joint, there is a lot of uh, inflammatory uh, fluid accumulation. So that instead of the rotator cuff being like this, it becomes like this, separated because too, there's too much pressure from inside. So it doesn't make any sense going and suturing them because that suturing them is more surgery, more trauma, m aggravation of the condition. Then the patient will have the frozen shoulder for the rest of her life. But this easily does the job yeah. without causing yeah. any problem. Yeah. Thank you.